In this training series, I'm gonna show you how you can get started making quality video content for your YouTube ads and your YouTube channel using Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Nicholas Sayers. I'm the founder here at Major Look Video Marketing where I show business owners how to use YouTube ads and video marketing to grow their brand, grow their business, and grow their bottom line. This is the third video of an eight-part video series where I'm gonna show you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro to properly make your YouTube ads and your YouTube videos for your channel. In this video alone, we're gonna work exclusively on how to cut, splice, and edit your video and audio tracks and how to put them up nicely together so you can have the nice seamless transition from clip to clip. Now, if you're only here for this specific tutorial and you're not really interested in getting the other parts of our training, then do me a huge favor, click on the subscribe button directly below, hit the little bell notification, and if you want the full eight-part video series, I've put that down below in the description. You can get started from video number one, where we show you the navigation of Adobe Premiere, to you can go to video number two, where I talk about keyboard shortcuts. But in this third video, we're exclusively working on how to cut, splice, and trim all of your video and audio tracks. In Adobe Premiere Pro, you can easily trim and splice your audio and video clips and butt them up together simply by zooming in on the specific frame that you want to cut these on. If I just want to cut it right here, right where there's a pause in the action there, I can tell by the audio that there's a little frame there that's kind of there's nothing happening, I would simply come over to my razor tool over here to the left and I would click on this frame. It's, it's lined up perfectly with this frame and I wanna make sure I also have my audio cut as well. So when I cut it, you can see I have two different clips. Now what I wanna do is I want to maybe get rid of this pause. So what I can do is I could just go back one frame by selecting the entire timeline and just clicking and dragging over. Now let's say I wanna get rid of this pause too. In fact, let's just say I wanna get rid of all this. I can just select here, click and drag, and if you paid attention or if you saw our shortcut training, I could just click here, I can hit Shift Delete, and that butts everything together with Ripple Delete. I'm gonna undo that because if you weren't there, you can also just right mouse click on the timeline and hit Ripple Delete as well, whatever's convenient for you. But that allows me to kind of trim these clips by splicing them, cutting them in two different clips, and then clicking and dragging them appropriately. So I'm just gonna hit Undo here. The same is also true of music. Now, I'm gonna bring in some music clips here, and what I typically do on music files, there's usually like a part in the beginning where it either fades up or it's, it's silent, and if I just wanna hit it on a particular beat, I can do that. So using my keyboard shortcut of Control i I'm gonna bring in a song. So here's my song here, I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click and drag, and I can just um, zoom in here. Let's see if it starts on well, it pretty much starts right on the beat. You can kind of see right on that first keyframe it does that. But you can see here on this keyframe, I'm kind of, I'm kind of stalling here. So let me just get rid of this for simplicity's sake. I think the best practice is to start your videos right on the beat of your first, first audible noise. So if I just click in all the way, if I just want to get rid of this, we want no wasted frames, no wasted movement. We want it to start right, right on the first sound of the first movement. That's gonna help me uh, and, and really free up as much space. You want to go quickly. So you wanna start and end all of your clips where it makes the most amount of sense. If I back out here, if I hit space bar, that's gonna play the clip. Hi, my name is Nicholas Harris. And you can see there's no wasted, it's more natural when I do it this way. Hi, my name is Nicholas Harris. I'm the founder here at me. And that's how you trim, splice, and edit all of your different uh, all of your different clips together. Now when you click on this video right here, you're gonna go to the fourth video of our eight part training series. And in that fourth video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your audio. So whether this is somebody speaking or whether this is background music, I'm gonna show you how to manage and manipulate that audio so that you get the best output of your audio for your videos. So make sure you click on this video right now, watch this short tutorial so you can see how you would wanna edit your audio settings in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll see you in the next training.